I think I've always kind of realised in football that you can never get too high with the highs and too low with the lows. So I think to balance the emotions of it all, I just try and stay relaxed and calm and focus on things that you can control. You can, you can make sure that you're putting in the work, you're prepared and, and you're ready. I always think that that's the best way to be because what will be will be and, and especially in football there's so much around it that you can't control. So you've just got to be the best person and player that you can and, and that will be all you need hopefully. Hi, I'm Alessia Russo, striker for Manchester United and England Lionesses and also a Beats ambassador and today I'm here catching up with Women's Health. Training's really busy at the minute. Um, we're in the back end of the season when things get really important. I think these next few months are gonna be massive for the league and, and for, for England as well. So we're training pretty much every day. Um, I'm a striker, so I love to score and I love to try and do as much finishing as I can at the end of the session. It's been a crazy year. I think probably a bit of a watershed moment for women's sport and women's football in particular. I think during the tournament, we were so unaware of what was going on on the outside, which was really cool actually, because we were so in the zone and focused on just football. And then after the tournament, we came out and it was like, coming out of the Big Brother house and everyone was like, oh my God, like what you guys have done this summer is amazing. And for me, just coming out and hearing like stories of people watching it at the pub or going with all their friends to sit in one of the viewing points and watch it, it's really cool because I don't think we would have ever thought that women's football would have got to that point. We always hoped. And I think this, this summer uh, changed a lot of people's opinions on that. I feel like it's been a while since we've had a, a camp. So excited to just get back going. The games and the tournaments that you live for. So. To play for England, for me, is the biggest honour there is. Um, so to go out there with, with a special group of girls and, and compete on the big stages is what it's all about. A lot of the girls are a good laugh, to be honest. Toonie's my best friend at United and at, at England, and she's hilarious. She always has everyone laughing. She likes to be the centre of attention. So she, she's always cracking jokes. Kira's funny. Kira's got really good banter, so she's always nice to, to be around because she's always making people laugh. Mary's another one that has me laughing all day. So yeah, to be honest, I think there's, there's lots of big characters in the changing room. And I listen to the same playlist every game day, and it's got the most variety mix on there ever. It's full of R&B, a bit of house music, a bit of country, like it goes from here to here, like it just bounces everywhere really. I'm really excited to be working with Beats because it's a company that I've loved for years now. When I was younger, I remember going on England camps and having the solo Beats on the bus and listening to, to music. And for me, music's always been a part of my life, but also my sport. And there's like a lot of songs that I can relate back to different moments in my career, whether it be a tournament or a game or traveling. So I think that's really cool to, to have them to look back on. And I'm also the DJ at training. So I like to, to put different mixes on and, and Beats is a company that I love and their ambition matches mine. At the minute, it's Flowers by Miley Cyrus. Millie Turner is requesting it every single day. Uh, I think a lot of people are sick of it, but she's definitely not. I just try and stay quite chilled. I like to have a coffee in the morning, just relax. And then yeah, just kind of stay focused. And But like at the same time, if the game's in the evening, I'll often just watch a film and maybe have a little nap just to kind of stay normal until the game comes and there's thousands of people in the stadium. So it's nice to just kind of keep relaxed, keep calm. Um, and then when you're there, you're, you're all fired up and ready to go. Would I ever consider insuring my back heel? I'm not sure because it's only ever come out once. But if it happens twice, then maybe I'll think about it. But it was a moment of instinct. Yeah, I'm not sure we'll see it in the future, but we'll see. I love to cook. Um, I live on my own, so it's important for me to look after myself and nutrition's a huge part of, of performance. So I love to cook as much as I can. There's a teammate that lives in the same building as me. So we often cook together although she might say she cooks for me, but I think we cook together. And yeah, I love going to different restaurants, trying new food, but for, for an athlete, it's always important to make sure that what you are eating um, fuels your performance. I love pasta, I love chicken, steak. I love everything really that, that I know is gonna make me run more and run harder on the pitch. I like my own space, to be honest. Um, we have a crazy schedule and we're together with the team so often that it's nice to kind of go home and switch off because I think 
as a full-time footballer, that's something that's really important. Um, you don't often get time away and, and to reflect on things yourself. So it's nice to have that time and then it makes you even more ready when you're back in training and, and you're full focused is, is on football. But when I'm with people, I thrive. I think that's why I love playing a team sport, love being around the team. And luckily I can call most of them my best friends. That's what you get to do every day is play with your best friends, which is really special and doesn't happen in most um, career fields. So that's probably one of my favorite parts of my job is that you're doing it with people that you love and and that you enjoy spending time with. I think within my friendship group and within the team, I'm not the loudest person, but I like to, to be positive, be happy. I think a lot of the girls will say I'm never really in a bad mood, which is a nice thing to hear. So I just go out there and football's what I love doing. So to be able to do it every day is what I love and, and I, I will never take that for granted. So I try and just go and be as happy and as positive around the girls as I can. and. When I'm on the pitch, I'm very competitive and, and want to win everything we do. So there's that side to it. But as soon as I, I walk off the grass and get in the gym or get in the changing room, I'm relaxed and, and calm and joking around with everyone. I think my three most used emojis are the laughing face like on its side, probably the red love heart and thumbs up because I know that's so boring, but that's just what I reply to people when like, like message received, you know what I mean? Like in football, like if it's from, someone organising something, it's like, yep, thumbs up, all sorted. I love films, um, going to the cinema, watching new shows. Uh, I think that's a big part of me switching off because as well, it's important for me to rest when I'm not at football. So to just get your feet up and, and relax and put a good film on is a big part of, of making me better on the pitch. I like to go out, try new restaurants, try new coffee shops, go on a walk. I just like to be outside when I can, but also just, yeah, switch off from football and, and make sure that, that you can relax and get out of the zone a little bit. Yeah, I have been to Jill's coffee shop and I must say, I'm not being biased, but it is one of the best flat whites I've, I've ever had. Yeah, it's a great, I, I think that's so cool for, for her to have that and she's the biggest coffee nerd I know. So for her to have that and, and give back to everyone is really cool and she's also probably the funniest barista out there. The best thing about Manchester is definitely not the weather. I love the city, like I love that it's almost like a mini London. I'm from down south, so to move up there, it was an adjustment, but I loved exploring and trying new places, finding new restaurants, finding new little spots. And the best meal I had out recently, I went last Sunday as a team, we went to an Italian in Manchester and I had a steak with truffle sauce and truffles like one of my favorite things ever. So that was lovely. I have lots of beauty therapies and, and things like that that I find relaxing and calming and I think in football where it's such an aggressive, passionate sport that for me it's nice to have another side of it where I can relax and, and kind of pamper myself a little bit. So I always have my nails done, um, even when I'm playing. I go to a spa and I, I get a facial or a massage and just sit in the sauna and jacuzzi. I love to just switch off but also I guess that stuff can enhance your performance at the same time so it's the best of both worlds and it's how I justify paying for it I say oh, it'll, it'll benefit my performance so I, I can take myself to the spa. I don't know if I'll go out with St George's but maybe like red one day. I'm very plain either a neutral colour or, or French tip so um, yeah but maybe red for the World Cup or for a, for a tournament something like that. For a, an athlete the World Cup is is the pinnacle. And first I obviously want to get selected and, and go into the squad. But then I'd just like to, the same kind of energy that we had at the Euros, be positive, relax, and just enjoy every second of it because it's a, a dream of mine that I've always wanted to do. I've always kind of realized in football that you can never get too high with the highs and too low with the lows. So I think to balance the emotions of it all, I just try and stay relaxed and calm and focus on things that you can control. You can you can make sure that you're putting in the work, you're prepared and, and you're ready. I always think that that's the best way to be because what will be will be and, and especially in football there's so much around it that you can't control. So you've just got to be the best person and player that you can and, and that will be all you need hopefully. Thank you so much for watching, hope you had as much fun as I did and see you soon.